weaknesses, you're good at covering them to the best of your ability. Absolutely. Um, just to keep people updated, you know, if you're watching now, if you're wondering when are we getting into the game, well, I have good news for you. Um, apparently, it's right now. So, <laughs> with all that being said, um, we do We're jump back into, back into the game. Um, what we noticed beforehand was that this was a very, very kind of scrappy set. Neither player able to hold one position for that long. Everyone kind of getting into the mix of things. Oh my and goodness, what a reverse knee from Salt! Yeah, that was nuts. That was uh, the power of uh, knee and doubles, like you said, kind of becomes even stronger, and you can get a bit more aggressive with it, too. Like, makes you appreciate just how crazy of a move it actually actually is. Excuse me. Yeah, it's like you could take liberties. And that just that's not just for knee. I mean, you could do it with any move. You notice that we're seeing a lot more up smash just come out, Radar? Absolutely. Again, yeah, and then like I think uh, the other thing as well is that we're not gonna see a lot of grabs if it continues to get scrappy like this, because if there is a grab, you know that that other teammate is gonna be there to probably break up the situation. So like if you're gonna, you, you have to make the most of it. If you were to get a grab, like you lose your throw invincibility. There's not gonna be a lot of combo going on. So do you think as a result of that we're gonna see like shielding become a better option because you know, or or is the commitment to a shield just as bad as the commitment to being grabbed because you're kind of less actionable, you have less uh, options out of shield. Uh, I think potentially shield can be really good because you extend the hitbox if you do put out your shield. So say like, say Salt does a knee and Justice shield, we may see a bit of that because the knee hitbox will be extended. Speaking of knees, that's a double knee. You're kind of describing the things that we see with like ice climbers, right? We're, oh my god. Yeah. Taking the knees to the extreme. Um, but yeah, like where you hit like uh, Nana and then like it kind of extends into Popo as well, right? Like. Mm -hmm. That's exactly it. But um, yeah, knee definitely a very, very, very powerful part of their kind of game plan. Um, putting Salt into situations where he can just kind of knee and uh, hope to get a favorable trade has worked out very, very well. And you mentioned up smash before. That's kind of a similar thing that's going on with Fox, where like if they can rip an up smash, uh, not only does it have kill potential in certain situations, it also just like opens up the player. It's good at so many different percents. Of course, you can do things like ASDI down tech it, but um, like at the lower percents, but even then, that's an option that's very strong in singles. It's not gonna be as strong in doubles if the kind of teammate is right there to stop you. Nice shine, actually. Yeah, not enough to kill Salt just yet, but that backer will. It's still definitely doable, Justice at a high percent, so if anything, you have to be very careful with your Stango. Like, grab, oh Ooh. no, wow, Mash is out, good Mash. Yeah, but uh, tournament winner not what you want to see here, and uh, I almost feel like uh, Justice is just a little too passive here, like kind of making um, Salt work a bit too hard rather than kind of leveraging. Like he's waiting for him to get yeah. kind of like an opening, but all he's really giving him is the 2v1. And now I, I, like, I'm getting a little bit scared. Yeah, like I noticed too, Salt even backed off. Oh my goodness, Stango's pushing the issue just a bit more. They're gonna have to finish this now. They do, but that was, that was getting a bit scary. That was getting very I, scary, Radar. These are the kind of moments where like, you look at that scenario and you kind of think to yourself, now is this, giving us any information for what we might see in the future or is maybe. this kind of same moment not going to come up again because i do think like maybe justice walks away from that and goes i think i need to be a bit more aggressive in those kind of leading situations maybe they don't get that kind of same situation maybe they dominate the next game doesn't come up but i do think like i feel like they were putting together the necessary stuff to make a comeback occur, which is not what you want to be doing if you are the team that's in a 2v1. You do not want to be going yeah. like, hey, like, how can we kind of give them a chance? You know, that that's what I felt like a bit to me. <laughs> yeah, and so it's like, it, it, if anything, even though you lost the 2v1 if you're Panda and Stango, it's a confidence boost. Like if you're Stango, you were able to push them around in a situation yeah. where, you know, on paper, you're supposed to probably just get grabbed and need and die. Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, just to clarify for people who might not know, uh, Panda is the second port and Stango is the third port. Um, I don't think you you got anything wrong. I'm just realizing, like, did I know that? <laughs> and uh, maybe it wasn't super, super clear, or maybe it was. Uh, I think the graphic does a decent job of kind of showing who's who, but just to double, because, you know, sometimes double Fox or double of yeah. any character uh, can be a bit hard to follow. 
Yeah, very, very much so, but... Mm, yeah, also, you know, the, the disconnect uh, has kind of made that even more difficult to follow, so... Um, so far, this is pretty close, but blue team is a bit behind, um, more than a bit now, if they're, if they're able to get this uh, box kill. But good shine stalling. Takes his time yeah. to get down. You mentioned also earlier about like using Fox full hop and full hop back air. I, mm -hmm. I noticed that the top platform, they're using the top platform to just kind of play keep away. You notice that he finally dies there, but Panda was able to live for a pretty long percent. You know, like those those high percent survivabilities, they add up over time. I mean, look at this. So that back air is going to close it out. I mean, you're, you're up a full stock. And, you know, and, like if you can keep tanking like this, you know, you can really extend your lead. Yeah, well, especially since, like, I wouldn't say either character... Like, both of the characters, like Falcon and Fox, can definitely contest the top platform. But it's not as easy when, like, Fox is in your face. So it's Ooh. still, like, pretty safe. Good knee, but it ends up... Like, this is this is what I mean before... Oh! Um, I'd say that's a, that's, a, that's a good trade, if anything. Yeah, it is. Got a full it stock, is. That's, a, that's a good trade. I, I'm kind of... I'm kind of liking red team's position and like even though they're down a game i feel like they're doing some of the things uh that make me feel like they're they're like basically like it seems like justice and salt are relying on kind of random knees and like forcing certain situations and just kind of having better judgment in the scramble and panda and stango seem to have a bit more of like a strategy maybe i'm kind of not clued into what justice and salt are doing the, kinda, the nuance of their play but that's the feeling i'm getting at least you're saying you're saying that justice and salt are getting more raw hits whereas panda and sango have more of a sequence yeah kind of and also like not just the yeah like the raw hits is sort of the right term where it's like they're tr it seems like they're kind of just like hoping to get a lot of hits, like pushing in, um, trying to win kind of in, in the neutral, in the scramble. And it feels more like Panda and Stango are saying like, hey, at this, in like, like let's say we go to top platform, we're gonna troll space here for a bit. We're gonna make oh, it I hard for you to get in. And as we're, as, we're saying this right, as we're saying this right now, it seems like Justice and Saul are the ones now playing the position game. Yeah. You know, they've really tacked on a ton of percent on Panda and Stango. Oh, that's her run up smash. Not enough to kill just yet. High percent is Stango, and that is another stock in a game. We were talking about the positional play the whole time how Red Team was doing so well. And Justice and Shaw, if anything, they showed they can do it just as well, too. I mean, that entire final stock, to me, was won by just stage positioning and holding center alone. That's all that game was decided by. Honestly, it, it just kind of shows you the challenges of commentating doubles and watching <laughs> doubles and playing doubles is like things can kind of shift pretty quickly, especially, you know, like they can be conscious shifts, right? Like the two players mm -hmm. go, hey, you know what? Maybe we are forcing things a bit too aggressively. Maybe we're letting them get this kind of these positional advantages for free. And we know all about stage positioning, too. We can kind of uh, do our <laughs> best with that and kind of go go from there. And, uh, you know, clearly they're up. 2-0 in a best of five. So where do you think we're going for a counter pick? Uh, I mean, I can maybe see a Dreamland. I mean, they were pretty close in that game in particular. I mean, I think it was just that final stock, Justice and Salt started to inch ahead a bit. But I mean, if that full hop strategy keeps working and they keep that positional play, well, they, they do quit out. I was thinking maybe Battlefield again. I could agree with it, but looks like they're going to think it over just a little bit before going back. FD, interesting. What do you think about this? So, it's funny because it felt like Panda and Stango were abusing the platforms more than Justice and Salt. So, to go to a pla stage without platforms is kind of interesting. <laughs> However, yeah, that was very, very solid. You know, da damage, I feel like, matters even more in singles than it does in doubles. And then also simultaneously less because, like, Percent means you get separated from your teammate and and you know all of a sudden you're more and more 2v1s the higher percent you are But on the flip side you can be at 200 and then your opponent hits you, like your teammate saves you with a one of the hits of their own Like what we just saw there with yeah. the up smash and the drill and yeah, all of a sudden You know yeah, they, got, they, got caught their, they got caught on their wires a bit, I gotta say they got caught on their wires where you know that was an up smash to kill but uh, their teammate drilled, red team's teammate drilled, so they were able, not able to get, um, get that kill early. 
Uh, but that's exactly what I mean, me. right? Like, you know, percent is so important, and then also percent doesn't kind of work the same way it normally does. So like right now, 163, any solid hit will kill him. However, you know, there are situations where he can end up playing a bit more aggressive, depending on, uh, you know, kind of the context. Whereas in singles, you know, it's just sort of always, the percent tells the full story, I guess. But generally I would say, because the percents rack up quicker, and because of the kind of positional advantages. Look at this. this oh is, my goodness. Oh, they got yeah, the sour was... spot. They got the sour spot in the on smash. That was so unfortunate because and that was a Twitter clip worthy teams combo yeah. we were about to see. But that's a big shine and Shal Salt's dead. Oh my goodness. That's huge to kill Salt that early. Yeah. And all of a sudden, the red team cool. got a bit of a lead. How long can it get hold it? Great SDI on the stomp to get back on. Red team doing a good job of surviving. Attacking on more percent. Right now, they're doing a good job of zoning uh, Stango out into the corner and even get confirming the kill there. This is still close. You know, I would say Red Team obviously has the stock advantage, and this combo damage is no joke. You know, just as I'm saying it, the state of the game changing so quickly. But once more, you know, this. The power of knee, man. Like, we're still at a percent where knee could be really oh. impactful. And I'm saying that as we're watching, oh. almost believe that stock. Salt almost got a triple knee out of that, and that, that would have been terrifying. Again, yeah, the knees. It's just it's just the knees coming out. He is just saying, you know, it's like, re release the salt. And boy, that salt's being unleashed. Yeah, it, it um, but, you know, just as you're saying that, uh, we now have no way for kind of Falcon to stay in the fight if he gets knocked away. The, the last yeah. kind of spare stock is gone, and the knees are coming back to bite him a little bit. Uh, but... Yeah, he, he can't commit as much. Is he going to live this time? He is not going to live, so it's just up to Justice. It's still doable, but it's going to be very hard. Oh my hard. god, is it ever doable, man? It is so doable. Uh, yep. This is basically almost even. Like, th the big difference is Crouch Cancel, which, you know right now being at 84 versus nine. Um, but, you know, if you get a grab, anything's possible. Oh, for sure, for sure. Justice looking, trying to get an opening there. He gets a shine, let's see. How much does he get off the chain grab? 34. Gets it again. Ooh, I feel like kind of cutting the grab a little earlier than you need to. That's the second oh. time he's missed that up tilt. He's gonna come back and bite him. Full hot, uh, rising back here from Panda, or throw. Horror throw of all things. Um, up this is big though. Oh, shine! Ooh, oh, he meant to send him the, the other direction. Of it. He yeah. meant to send him the right, the right, uh, the right side, but no, it went to the left side. That's so unfortunate. I, I think, that, yeah, that like some of the punish game decisions from Justice were were a bit, a bit strange. Custom. It was yeah, a bit too custom. Very like, custom. Which, you know. I don't know where, where I stand on it, because it's like on one hand, you know, you don't want to be like sometimes, you know, custom things can kind of throw off people's DI and get you uh, more oh, reliable, yeah. like, like easier to execute things. You know, some things that are maybe more guaranteed are also like easier to flub. Mm -hmm. But uh, I don't know. I'm like rewatching it now. And there, there were just some things where it felt like a little, a little, a little bit <laughs> Would you know. say would you say the bag was fumbled a bit in this yeah, situation? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Yeah, to, but... uh, to borrow a quote from Homemade Waffles, aka Brown of the Legend. But getting to game uh, game four on Dreamland, what do you think? Um I think it makes a lot of sense. Uh I think, you know, we've been I feel like one of the big tools that they've been using to the fullest is me, and I feel like me doesn't really get nerfed that hard on Dreamland. Um, you can still go for these kind of crazy multiple knee sequences, and then usually like the extra uh, space on Dreamland probably not going to affect. Oh me my too much. goodness, that was such a nice sequence. So that was up tilt, up, uh, up throw, down tilt into a uh, fox up tilt into knee. That was absolutely insane. But one small detail I want to point out that Salt did is using Falcon's up throw. Falcon's up throw is actually incredibly large to the hitbox, and it's a good almost get off me tool for teams. It's something you don't see on, you don't see at all in singles because you know they don't know this hitbox exists. And speaking of knees, the soft knee is gonna be the one that goes and gimps Panda at 29. Oh, can they save each other in some way? No, they can't. Um, 
No, you're absolutely right. It's it reminds me a lot of Puff's forward throw, where Puff's forward throw has like a lot, very very large hitbox when you actually complete the throw, and it kind of is like a weird get off me tool that is not used um, in singles at all really. But uh, we're seeing again that that kind of win condition in the knee uh, is so so crucial. You know, just zoning them out, trying to kind of get it in any situation you can, and spamming it as much as possible. I was gonna say shine is just as the equivalent to that sort of win oh, yeah. condition. You know, they, uh, I mean salt almost died at like 30 percent. Holding holding off st uh, center right now in the stage is just nice. as salt. They clean it up. This is I don't know. It's looking kind of grim for Panda and Stango, but they can definitely do it. Yeah, I, I think it's good if you're if you're a Justice and Salt fan, you're seeing them uh, not missing the free stuff, you know. So that situation, they just need to both be kind of playing it cool. Um, good tech, that's good not tech there, yeah. Um, just you know, rolling up at the right times, grabbing ledge at the right time, not um, throwing away things for free. And they're they're doing exactly that. They're they're playing well, playing smart. Um, things are pretty close, you know, but. You gotta, get really more close, you gotta get more sequences like that, Radar. Just more kicks, more kicks on the Falcon. And look how much percent they tacked on. Look at that, they, Salt's already at death and damage made on done. Red. Oh, but as I say that, that is gonna be a stock. So... Oh goodness, and you gotta take that stock now. Oh my god, he just close to me. He got the grab and then he up smashed and killed uh, Salt, didn't he? Oh wow. I think he did, yeah. There was so much chaos down the screen to where we couldn't even pick up on it. So, I mean, it's dead even. I mean, honestly, anyone anyone can win this game. You know, you can see a subtle comeback. When you have back air strings like that, it's like you said, the full hop backers coming into play. That's exactly what they're going for. Beautiful recovery there um, to get away from Falcon's up air. And now we have another very winnable 2v1. And we need to see, look, look at red team. Just back air, really, really good. Uh, this is doable. Cool. It's totally doable. I mean, what we see from Salt so far is that knee is definitely the, kind of the game changer. Let's see. Can they finish it? Another back air. That's going to do it. We got a game, got a game five, five radar. Game number five. This is anyone's set, honestly. This is anyone's set. It looked like Justice and Salt were just going to clean it right up, but you talked about with the confidence and the momentum that Panda and Stango started to build. Look at it. They've kind of they clutched out two straight games now. What are you thinking right now if you're Justice and Salt? Honestly, it's a good decision. I actually, I mean, a good, good question, rather. I, I was about to say, I think I would go back to Dreamland. I think they were doing things, like, really, they had, they being Justice and Salt, had a very sizable lead for much of the set. And then all of a sudden, they kind of went in, like, these teams equivalent of the Peach Down Smash Blender, but like oh it was gosh. Austin back here, where they just both took like 80% and then lost the stock off of it even. And you know, there it is again, kind of like the wind conditions sort of separating them with the knee. It sounds weird just kind of like set, focus so much on a knee because obviously there is like, there's a lot more going on, but it's like you mentioned with Shine as well, where it's like, just kind of finding certain situations where they can kind of get it or force um, that kind of opening really has been getting them a lot of mileage. And I think Dreamland is well equipped to do that. They're gonna wait for each other this time. Nope. Yeah, that's a solid back here to close up the stocks. And now all of a sudden, oh. know, Justin Salt, they have been ahead the entire set. This is the first time they're technically down. Yeah. Like if anything, you know, on a, on a psyche level, you know, does doubt start to creep in at any point right now? What, what's kind of going through your head? Do you just try to gather your bearings? Because they're, they're holding center pretty cautiously, almost giving Panda and Stango the free ticket to get back. Gotta get that one. That's a tough edge guard um, for Falcon on his own, but I think, you know, with a teammate, you can kind of make that work. But still, you know, just as you're saying that, they're starting to kind of swing the momentum back in their favor. This is just, you know, the nature of four That's a characters. Big that's a big stop. Oh my goodness. And that's the, that's the opening they need. Oh my goodness. They took down a ton of percent. Oh, and just like that, they have, well. they, oh. I just realized they have a small stock lead right now, but that is short lived. The up throw misses the knee, though. Unfortunately, that's like yeah, he's missed three missed. knees in a row, um, which is not great, but I think he should be able to get this stock and yes. also hits him, too. Yeah, up smash. Okay, I was going to say, like, you can kill that. He's not moving. Um, yeah. Your Falcon teammate's ready. And just like that, the stocks, the gap has doubled. They have doubled up. Blue team over red team. Oh my goodness. It looks like the crack shack is starting to come to life. Yeah, you know, really, I think the, you know, 
it, it, it's all about kind of can Falcon keep onto this stock. Any additional percent here kind of seals the deal for them if they can't kind of clean it up quickly. And it looks like they might be able to do that. Yep. Because now, I now all of a sudden the momentum's back, right? Like, see, we're tied again. Yeah, I saw the vision also that that Salt was or Justice with the Salt was going for to get intentionally Firefox. But I mean, if anything, if you're Panda, also you have to hang on to this stock. Great you're at 121. One good hit will probably do it. That up air, you know, side B to ledge. Oh, beautiful that's probably B into back air, like covering both uh, characters. And yeah, that's going to uh, at, at the very least rack up a lot of damage, um, push his opponent out of the way as well. Uh, one more knee on the second Fox, the 86% Fox, and you're kind of in a great spot. So they're playing it carefully as they should, but this is looking good for blue team. Yeah, Salt's the aggressor in this case. You notice that Justice is kind of laying back. He's letting Salt just throw his hitboxes, you know, because he's been so confident and dominant with it throughout this entire set. Oh my goodness, an accidental grab on Justice. Then they come back to bite him real quick. They're off stage. Oh, it is. Just barely escapes that up smash. Um, but that was the momentum shifter uh, for both of them. I don't think it's necessarily going to cost them the set, but now they got a 2v1 situation going. This is so close, man. We are on game five. That's a big up throw. And again, good DI on it. Does get the knee, though. He's still living man. barely, but he's going to grab the ledge. So that's it. Okay. So Dango, it's up to Stango. This is, this is a, or excuse me, it's up to Panda. This is definitely a mountain to climb. Or Stango, oh my gosh, I'm getting confused with the foxes. But either way. Yeah. That was gonna be a mountain to climb at that high of a percent. I mean, you essentially, you know, it's a cliche to say, but you essentially had to play perfectly from that point on, especially with just the amount of pressure that Justice and Salt were putting on. But what a set, Radar. Gotta say, what a set that we just witnessed. Absolutely. Very, very, very impressive stuff. Um Yeah, no, I I like I think both players played very well. I think uh the blue team kind of kept it together. I think they played, like, overall, even the games that they lost, it felt like they were still kind of in control for the most part. Um, so I'm not surprised to see them take it, but Panna and Stango were really clawing it back, man. They, that was insane. They, they played exceptionally well. I mean, they were down 2-0. They almost completed the reverse 3-0. And you talked about like the full hops and like the full hop back airs. We now understand why they were doing it. They were trying to lean to that, you know, that multiple back air chain. And you saw it multiple times where Justice and Salt, they just ate a bunch of kicks to the face. And boy, those, that percentage just added up. And they almost won the set because of it. No, for sure. We're, but with all that being said, we're going to take a quick break. Keep it locked at the 